Ultimately, that's the question this film asks, which is, is there a fate worse than having to see Creed in concert? And I certainly don't think so. The Creed is a uh, short horror movie, kind of in the vein of a Stephen King story, about a woman who wins a pair of concert tickets off of radio contests she didn't know she entered. It's for a band she doesn't care for, necessarily, and uh, she she tries to get rid of the tickets, but there's something supernatural about the tickets that keeps haunting her and popping up in her life, eventually driving her to uh, desperate measures to get rid of them. It becomes a curse. She can't get rid of the tickets. She, you know, she tries burning them, she tries throwing them away. They haunt her. The tickets just keep coming back. And that's just in the first act alone. It then builds up quite dramatically from there not. It's a funny story, uh, it's a scary story at times, uh, and ultimately I really wanted to make this movie to bring together the best talents of my friends and just put our backs into this one and see what we could churn out when we dial it up and put our best efforts together. I actually really believe in this film, that's why I'm part of it. It's, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun and we need your help to make this happen. The final shooting script for The Creed is about 15, 16 pages long, which translated into six days and nights of filming. Full days, full nights. Uh, so if you break it down, we're shooting this entire movie for a budget of $500 a day. Uh, forget about the elaborate special effects and the camera equipment and the lighting equipment we have to rent. We gotta power generators to keep lights working at night. Uh, we gotta buy coffee to keep us up at night. A little bit of money is gonna go a long way in this. It's a very modest budget. By no means are we getting rich off this project. Every dollar, every cent that we get is going on screen. We call them a lot of favors, uh, but even then we still need just a little more money to kind of push us over the edge so we can make this movie uh, look, sound, and come together the way we'd like it to. So where a lot of the, the budget we're hoping to raise is going to be going, it's going to be going into our art and effects budget. This is one of the coolest things we're going to be doing with this thing. This is one of the most exciting parts of the movie, is we're going to be creating a lot of our effects practically by hand. This is how Ghostbusters, Star Wars, Poltergeist, which are all, all visual influences on this film, that's how they did it. Um, some of these special effects we're doing are really expensive. Um, we're using liquid latex, polyurethane. We're combining a lot of digital and practical effects. We even have one uh, pretty, pretty ambitious stunt we have planned. Uh, we're using uh, sealing resin, silicone for waterproofing the tank. We're building a water tank. Part of the reason why we're focusing on the band Creed is um, I think we can all say that we've all grown up and had an appreciation for bands that aren't really that good. We each have our own uh, personal demons that we want to keep hidden. <laughs> Anything you can give us, we will absolutely use. And the more we get, the better it's going to look. It's, it's just, we need you. I wouldn't even be attempting this project if I didn't think that we had an audience for it. I really think we do. It's going to be funny. I promise you'll laugh at it. I, I promise that it'll look great. I promise that's going to sound great. I promise that the acting is going to be good. And I promise that you're going to be blown away just a little bit by the visuals towards the end of the movie.